Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Fly with Shelly. I'm here again with my wonderful friend and flight attendant co-worker, um, my beautiful Marieli. We are here to tell you a little bit about the process on how to get prepared for your interview. So we have seven things that you guys need to get ready prior to getting your dream job. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned. For the airline that is hiring right now there's a website back in the day where we could just look at this website and it would name you all the airlines that are hiring it is no longer on the internet which is kind of sad so now it's going to make us work a little more but there's still ways around getting to know who's hiring and who's not now what you need to do is you need to go on the airline of your choice so for example let's go to spirit if you go to spirit.com you're gonna go to the very, very bottom. Um, you're gonna go through all the different pointers. I believe there's some links that are that will say contact us, other links affiliate, there's other links that will say um, uh, career. So you wanna click on the career and you wanna fill out their application. Make sure that you have your application ready. Now, Marielle is gonna talk in a little bit about application, how to get your resume ready. But for now, we're just trying to find a way to find jobs that are opened. So let's say another example, you wanna go work for United Airlines. It's really important. Again, you go to United Airlines or united.com, go to the bottom, you guys, again, look for that link uh, and look for careers and make sure you attach your resume. So that would be one way. Another way would be Facebook, you guys. Facebook nowadays is a, a means to communicate with a whole range of people and a lot of the airlines now are using Facebook to communicate when there's job openings. So you wanna make sure that you go to Facebook, look for the airline of your choice, you know, give them a like. So go ahead and follow and you'll get updates and you will see that they'll start in their feed telling you, hey, we're hiring for this. And I know Southwest does it as well. So if you're interested in Southwest, Facebook is definitely the way to go. Or there's also groups, you guys, um, look up group hiring group for airlines and you'll see it's a group that just as soon as one finds out that one airline is hiring they'll kind of communicate that to the entire group on Facebook and you guys can get insights on what's going on so those would be the way to find out which airlines are hiring at the moment now point number two my Marielle is going to cover point number two which will be a resume and I'll add if there's anything we need to add to yeah make sure that you have a, a resume that highlights the, the points that the uh, airlines uh, want from you like you're a team player uh, like uh, you're you have skills with customer service like uh, you uh, work uh, very good under stress you know all this uh, point that uh, airlines need from you and make sure that uh, if you if you don't know how to make a, re a resume there are many <laughs> like here like many people that for a fee for a small fee they can make a resume stands out because uh, uh, that is a, a main point that you have to have uh, ready right away because once you apply um, on uh, on, the, on the website you they have they ask you to upload your uh, resume so you have to have it ready to go exactly and resume is actually the reflection of you because you can't talk to them the only thing you have at that point is a piece of paper that they will look and oftentimes there is so many resume coming in all at the same time and you guys take note sometimes when they open for a job opportunity they're open for less than 24 hours so when you need to jump on it you need to jump on it right away i remember southwest they were open for two days they got over thirty thousand application or more um it, it was they had to shut it down because they had too many um to a point that even the legacy airlines will have some kind of system where they filter through all of the applications automatically so they don't even look at them they look at the resume and they're looking for key words on the resume and if you don't have those it's actually tossed out by an automatic 
computerized system, which I found out not too long ago, um, that's their way of processing uh, resume. If you don't have the keywords on there, this is why you hire me. Buy with Shelly at gmail.com. You make sure that you hire me and I'll make sure to get, you know, get those key points in your resume, make sure that they call you and they don't toss that resume out because, hey, you didn't have the secret little words and that little secret sauce that you needed to get pushed forward to the airline. So with that said, you have interesting key points, whereas, um, you know, you need to kind of underline that you're a team player, uh, delegating. Now, all of these little tips, you guys, that I'm giving you, they're all on the website. When you look at the job description, um, you look at it carefully, it'll tell you exactly what they're looking for. So if they're looking for, like you said, a team player, do you not think that you should put that on your resume just to kind of like stand out from the rest, hint, hint, so that would be one of the tricks I would give you as you're hiring me as your coach. Um, those are the things that I kind of like go over as to what would make you stand out from the rest. Now, if another key, for example, JetBlue, they want playfulness. They want you to be a playful team member. You, you know, they want you to be happy, joyful, excited. Those are some of the points that um, I remember fun. The word fun kept on coming up for JetBlue, just to give you an example. So if that is a key word that keeps on being repeated and that's what they're looking for, that is a key word that you need to put in your application so you kind of reflect what they're looking for. All right, so I hope that helped a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now point number ding, three, core values. Now I'm gonna give it to Maria. Oh my God, uh, core values are very, very important to, to when, you, when you apply for a, a airlines i remember me searching you know all core value and uh, memorize them and uh, uh, making a scenario you know and that is very easy very very easy uh, you just uh, you know get your phone go on google you know and say core value example this one i just choose delta core values uh, give an example delta is a honesty integrity respect perseverance and servant leadership and you just uh, create uh, you know your own uh, Mm, scenario you know because they're gonna ask you uh, is it important honesty give me an example that you've been honest and um, um, is very very important for core, value, core values in a in a airlines basically to resume what uh, Marielle is saying core values are very important because that's probably one of the questions they may ask you absolutely absolutely and, every and, then, airline. and you have to apply this core value in every sentence in every scenario that you are uh, you are presenting to them because they're gonna ask you questions they're gonna ask you you know um, give an example when uh, I don't know when you you were not honest and uh, with your colleagues so they're gonna ask you that nasty question to put you under stress and to see uh, how much you can react and how much you are uh, trying to show your personality do not do not say oh I never been uh, dishonest or or I don't have any example absolutely because that is a big no-no for airlines they want um, a, a, an example all the time especially you know when they are uh, asking you negative questions uh, yes we are human being everybody fail once in life once or maybe more <laughs> uh, in life just uh, you know go ahead and uh, uh, tell them how you feel but remember all the time close the sentence with well yes I feel but I learned this and that you know um, like, like I give an example yes I was working with a colleague and we didn't get along and I was very upset with with her or him and uh, we had few fights or whatever but in the end I understood that uh, his point of view and I reevaluate my um, you know way to uh, evaluate people because he taught me to I don't know whatever it is uh, Remember to give a bad scenario if they ask you to describe a bad scenario, but however to close the your your sentence. sentence or your you know your story with something positive. Yes, and then I learned that 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 from that, this. That's very well said. To reiterate, um, sh nobody's perfect. You know, you can't just go there saying I've never had a conflict with the boss. 
maybe you haven't. You're probably one of these people that um, don't like confrontation and I get it when you say, well, I never had an issue. You might have had an issue with a coworker. You might have not said anything, but uh, given the opportunity, what would you have said and what would you have learned from that confrontation? Um, so always portray yourself, you know, in a positive light. Uh, never, like she said, never end a sentence or an explanation with something negative, okay? Um, and that's a lot of things that I cover usually in coaching. Um, she gave you a little insight. We go more into depth. Uh, we use your examples and we're gonna kind of tweak them so that it is presented in a professional matter in front of an interviewer. So if again, you guys are needing some guidance, I'm here for you guys. She is here as well. Um, you know, we've done it, we've been through it and we've been hired by many airlines and it's just a question of understanding the, the equation or the recipe on how to interview. All right, number four. Now we're gonna talk about polishing your look. So we've gone through, um, you know, how to look for your job, how to apply and put in your resume how to kind of prepare you know for questions that might be coming up now again we can go more into depth i have a million videos on questions and answers and i prepared for a, an an assessment how to prepare for that question they may ask and whatnot again if you need more one-on-one -on -one coaching you can come to me uh, but otherwise we are going to talk about the polish look and how it can influence your interview outcome now back in the day prior to covid interviews were face to face uh, a lot of them were taking place on the computer but when it came to face to face they wanted to meet with you so that was a process of elimination on zoom per se and then from that you would meet in person they no longer do that you guys are so lucky but they will resume the face to face eventually so you will have to speak in front of someone um, but even on zoom you still have to have a polished look you guys not because you're home you can stay in your pj and be like yo i just just woke up my hair like this and I'm ready for your interview <laughs> it's not I used to have a tattoo on my neck and I removed my tattoo uh, for for the interview see you have to do the necessary mm. things prior to like that to piercing whatever it is that you it's, have it's a commitment if you really want to do this I, yes. I mean I go to the extent to have a six treatment for on my neck to a laser treatment which we you can't even see it right no you can barely see it but uh, you i can't see it at all yeah. and uh to remind i did not even know she had a tattoo that's how yeah you can't see it i remove my my piercing my nose piercing and uh for that day and i remove my uh my tattoo you got to make exceptions you guys if you do you're it's not a commitment if you're not ready to make that kind of like she said commitment it is not for you if you're going to be like well they better accept me the way i am with my tattoos no. and all it won't work forget about it because they have so many applicants you guys mm -hmm. so they're going to go with the people that are abide that abide by their rules as far as they yes. abide by their aesthetic rules and but um think about that you are the face of the company okay and uh, you don't go to the office every day that your manager is, is checking on you right so they they have to see how uh, you present yourself to the world every single day okay uh, so because seriously you are the face of the company and they yeah. want you polished they want uh, we are doing a job that we can uh, save lives it's very very important so they want you to to convey a very elegant and safe a professional look, look. a professional yeah. look and they want to know when they're not around you because they're not you don't have a boss will you be behaving one will you be behaving because mm -hmm. that's why they ask you these questions scenario questions too will you dress the part because if not and you're very rebellious in your look mm -hmm. that's how yeah. you're going to be on your own in the plane when you're thirty-five thousand feet above uh, ground and they're not interested you're not going to say that people with tattoo or with a you know rough look is not going to be uh, helpful in, uh, in saving life uh, but the company wants a, a clean and, and professional look so exactly so hopefully we covered a little bit of the polish and aesthetic yeah. again polish what we mean by polish is professional hair up uh, is quite I mean, a lot of people leave it down. If you have short hair like Marielle, it could look very classy, but they don't want this, you know what I mean? As no. you're talking, they want to see yes. your face. So yeah. your hair- Hair on your face, they don't want that. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. 
you know, if you can tie them up in a ponytail, if you can put them like this, just, mm -hmm. you know, just make sure because that it's clean right, cut. Right now, we don't, serve, we don't serve food right now because of COVID, but we used to serve food. And, and people that serve food with all the hair on your not gonna happen yeah and then it's it falls not. into their drinks and exactly. whatnot it's not yeah and then again piercing we talked about that and also dress code you guys if you go in with a very open shirt like i have it's no, very seductive it's, no, no. it's not mm. professional it kind of speaks mm. another language it doesn't speak i'm ready mm. to work for your airline so you know the more you're covered sometimes the more classy you can look if you want to go from a jacket look to a one piece always cover your knees heels keep it to the minimum two inches minimum yeah don't go higher than that because then it looks a little it's borderline yeah. kind of trashy i guess and i remember Just, about that we were uh, in a face-to-face -face interview and mm -hmm. I remember that a young lady put a very bright and very unique shoes mm -hmm. uh, I think that she she wanted to be remembered okay yeah, well, when you say bright shoes you mean she had bling blings on it yes yeah, so she had a very uh, colorful shoes okay. um, you know choose it the color of your company black uh, you know spirit is black and yellow choose something back black and yellow american in blue and, and red just choose something blue and red uh, well this lady was uh, all in black with uh, all these bright shoes like pink shoes or yeah and she, pink and yellow shoes i think that she chose that uh, shoes to be remembered but she had the opposite uh, uh, effect and then she was eliminated right she away. was sent home unfortunately yeah. yeah if you guys want to be remembered have a really good interview <laughs> more than be flashy and smile that's another yeah. thing you guys when you're face to face uh, I mean even not during an interview on zoom smile don't be scared um, I go through that in my coaching you know about confidence and how you feel and how to prepare you also to be that extra confident but smiling hello speak to other people there's yeah. a lot of recruiters there how's your day you know um is everything you know are you having a great day i'm excited for meeting all of you and maybe hopefully working with you soon and just be positive radiate that positivity they'll remember you from that not so much from the shoes or the crazy hair you know what i mean mm. so yeah or the crazy makeup you want to have makeup but you want to be classy you don't want to go with the cat eyes they're going to um a ball an evening ball mm -hmm. um or you don't want to have that crazy red lipstick with the big liner around to look like uh, one of the kardashian <laughs> you want to be classy uh and in you, a word of a kardashian you want to be a sophia lauren <laughs> there you go and also you know you want to be respectful you want to be loud right. overly loud you don't want to be disrespectful to other people that may be your future colleagues so always kind of put that into perspective even in zoom zoom they're talking to you all right and they're examining you they analyze you and they're Constantly. very Constantly. and they're very selective so if you're like looking for the answer that means you weren't prepared you know if you're like Ugh, like again another stupid question you're asking me just by a I could say a lot mm. um, it's all body language as well so just you know stay positive always your back erect you know always be attentive and be respectful mm. so that all goes with the aesthetic with the looks and and uh, and the polish look as well so I think we covered that I remember that during the in the face to -face, face interview we were a lot of people in the room and there were you know interviewers that were ch changing uh, position all the time. They were walking and they around were us, yes. Checking, checking us. I mean, we were pay attention to the, the, the stage the and speaker. the mm -hmm. speaker, but all around yes. us, and they were changing I remember spots. they kept on walking. And I, I remember she kept on walking back in front of yes. somebody else, and yes. they were always watching you. And I remember constantly. Because you get tired, you're kind of like slouching mm -hmm. a little bit, and then no. you start talking, and you can't do that no. because they're watching everything. And, mm -hmm. and they already have a name they're probably writing that on their pads yeah. you know like mm -hmm. this one can't even sit still the other yeah. one was talking being disrespectful so because you you think that if if you have a flight of six hours you have to be able to sit in that jump seat if the turbulence you have to sit for hours in that mm -hmm. uh, patience, uncomfortable uh, jump seat if you're not able to, to sit still for half an hour during their speaking you yeah. know it's gonna be a red flag for them so they're constantly yeah. watching you guys yeah so she has a great point all right point number five we're gonna cover drugs you guys drugs mm -hmm. drugs drugs and alcohol all right so 
drug testing is huge in this industry. Um, you want to make sure that you are a non-user as far as smoking and drugs. Now, unfortunately, I have a personal good, good friend who lived here in Arizona. She's probably watching. Love you, girl. You know who you are. And I am... I love her to death and we modeled together back in the day and um, we applied from the same airline, not the one that I'm working for, but we had applied. I went through and she didn't, but we applied at the same time without even knowing it. <laughs> Figure oh, we're yeah. on the same, yeah. There was multiple people on the Zoom interview, I remember, and she was there and we're like, hey, what the hell? But, um, and I remember her explaining to me, and fortunately it was because of some kind of, um, prescription that was given to her that backfired and no matter how much explanation she had and doctors know it didn't pass the um, the drug testing so it was very unfortunate because she missed out on that opportunity that was her dream so that's a lesson learned and something I wanted to share with you guys because if you have take if you are taking a particular drug that you think may interfere with um, you know, I don't know much about drugs because no, we're, either, but yeah, we're non-drug users, but I know some drugs maybe approve, like a doctor will approve it. Um, for mm -hmm. example, weed, you know, they do approve mm -hmm. it for some kind of conditions, but unfortunately the I, airlines will not approve I it. I think that, uh, um, that's what's unfortunate. Another, another drug that is very popular, another medicine that is very popular, but uh, the airlines are not approved of is Adderall because there is an amphetamine in there is even if it is it's prescription yes it's pre prescription very small quantity and it's just uh, that the doctor is giving you for uh, to be focused or you know to be more uh, brain power but if you take Adderall you fail the drug test that's so sad that really is sad because this is what they need to function but the airline doesn't care no they're like you know what if you need that to function we don't want you under the influence of anything mm -hmm. and they do randomly give you a pee test mm -hmm. they will give you a drug or pee test if mm -hmm. they and, and just randomly and they usually catch you right at the end of a flight um, mm -hmm. or at the beginning but I, I think it's mainly when you land somebody tipped yeah. them off for some reason your behavior is kind of odd or didn't tip you off just randomly and they'll just mm -hmm. be like, hey, you just got back from Miami, uh, come in the bathroom with us and you're escorted. You can't be, you know what I mean? You can't be prepared for that kind of stuff. Yeah. And if you're one of these marijuana smokers, occasionally- or alcohol, because even alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Or, or, or drugs, oh, yeah. you're just gone. If it's in your blood and you guys, weed stays in your blood. Like even those little, um, what is it? Gummy bears that you chew on those things will stay in your system for a while and i heard that somebody could have done it like three four five even seven days ago and it stays and they'll take a sample of your hair and your hair will let you know if um you've been under you know if you've taken that drug so and i think it could be up to 30 days can you imagine you do it? i have no idea because i never tried i know weed, me too but, me but too, anyway but, um uh, random when you got random uh, they're gonna escorted you to mm -hmm. the bathroom you yeah. gotta pee and whatever is in your blood is gonna show in that pee and uh, you're gonna be immediately fired yeah. if uh, you no know. question asked you no can't, question you asked you just fired right away so you yeah. went through uh, uh, training you went through so much stress and money mm -hmm. and then you gotta be you gotta fired like that no come on yeah, guys no. don't be so silly sad. I know. But uh, anyway, so guys, stay away from drugs. And if you are taking any kind of prescription, be maybe be make, make sure that it's not going to get against your airlines. I mean, I mentioned it to the airline ahead of time, but at the same time, the airline may not accept you because of that. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but it's true. A lot of the drugs sometimes are just not approved mm -hmm. by the airline. So they don't care if you have a condition and you need it they'll say, I'm sorry, it's not the job for you. They'd rather take someone that's not on anything or uh, can influence their, their judgment, I guess. So, mm. all right. So number six, though, you want to start looking forward to a long interviewing day. Those days are very long. Now, you mm -hmm. luckily, folks, now that are getting hired recently, a lot of people have Zoom interviews for face-to-face. -face. So it's not as long as we went through the process almost three years ago where we had to wait in line and the process literally took the entire day and took like the life out of us. So, and they do that for a purpose. They wanna see if you can still stand, you can still be witty and they'll keep the interviews for the last thing at the end of the day when you are exhausted because, and haven't eaten because yeah. they barely give you a break and they want you back at a certain time. Yeah. So all the stress factors influence your 
interview process and skills. Because remember that you can work up to 14 hours a day, while in some cases even 16 hours a day. So they want to see you from the beginning to the end. If And then they extend this, this day for mm -hmm. the interview just because they want to see how uh, sharp you are from the beginning to the end because mm -hmm. if they have to work you 14 days 14 hours a day they want you know the, the, to have people that they're gonna be able to work all 14 hours mm -hmm. well if they do go back to the crazy days that we had for interview mm -hmm. make sure you bring something to eat whether it's a yeah. little bar Absolutely. or something to hold you over sometimes you don't have time to eat they'll give you 30 minutes and it's barely you don't mm -hmm. have time to wait in line no. even in training we have 45 minutes to an hour the line was 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. And then we'd order food and we'd sit down to start eating. We had to head back because we had to go all the way up mm -hmm. through an elevator. Actually, we had to walk that because mm -hmm. the food was in the other uh, mm -hmm. yeah. area. So we had to walk to the other building, go up an elevator, and we had to be back in class or else we get canned. Yeah. So um, always make sure you bring a couple of bars, protein bars, just to get you through the day. Sometimes you don't have time to eat. Mm -hmm. um, they won't even give you a break. Um, sometimes, you know, interviewers sometimes don't give you a break. They want to see if you can kind of like tough it out. I remember running to the bathroom, eating my bar, and going right back from the interview. I had to have something. I was lightheaded. But um, those days are over for now. Lucky guy. But for your Zoom, it may take an hour for your interview. Make sure you have some water at your disposition. You want to stay hydrated because it is a stressful process and you want to be prepared. So you're talking maybe long hours prior to to prepare yourself. Um, and again, um, you know, be prepared. Just don't go into this interview thinking I'm going to I'm going to nail this. I already know all the answers to all my questions. Sometimes the people that think they're so well prepared are not. And the ones that over prepared are ready to answer all the questions that might be thrown their way. Seven. All right, you guys. So be prepared to leave your actual job. Now, we don't want you to do it right off the bat, the day that you send out your application, you're like, I'm gonna get hired, I need to leave my job. Don't leave your job right away, but be prepared to do so because the application process can be very quick, especially now if they are hiring, it's because they need people. Mm. Um, and when they need people, like for example, our airline, uh, when they needed someone, they needed them right away. It's not something that took months and months like other airlines. For us, the process is a very, very, their timeline is like boom, 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 every couple of days, right? What I hear from other people that got their CJO and training, it was basically three days apart. So application, assessment, right away, a video interview. So they did that and right after that, within three, four days, they got the uh, Zoom face-to-face -face, and after that, they got the result three days later. So you guys, it was like three days, three days, three days, three days. So some process is very long, other process is very short. It depends on the interviewer, it depends on the process, depends on how many people are applying and how many people they have to process. But if you don't hear from them, sometimes it's good news, right? I say no news is good news. Uh, and sometimes, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Fast process doesn't mean you didn't get through. Sometimes it means they really liked you and they pushed you forward. So it all depends. Uh, just don't give up. If you haven't heard from them, that's actually a good, you know, good sign or not. Um, we never know. The airlines work differently and they mix it up so that you don't have a pattern so people can talk and be like, oh, you, it took you longer, so you probably didn't get it. They mix it around so you never know. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yes, I mean, <laughs> okay, got your off guard. All yes. right, so that would be uh, okay. So when it comes to your job, well, so for me, it took one month. I apply uh, December uh, twelfth, and my uh, face to face interview was uh, January nineteenth, yeah. and February twenty fifth, I was off to. Uh, yeah, we were in the same class and yes. we did the same interview the same day, so it was kind of it was pretty yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. And then we were basically hired on the spot. We sort of working. So if you guys have a full-time job, just be prepared to give them a two-week notice. Because the minute you get that CJO, you will go to training quickly. And um, again, be prepared to leave that job because even though you don't make it through training, you still you're still not going to be able to go to work. Mm -hmm. So be prepared to say goodbye to your job. Um, you know, kind of get that letter, that two-week notice uh, letter or verbal agreement. I don't know how you guys do it nowadays, but. Um, and get ready to, um, you know, follow your dream in your dream job. All right, you guys, now number eight. All right, so back in the days, Marielle and I, when we applied for our airline, which you guys already know who we work for, and if not, just look at our videos, you'll see our outfits. <laughs> um, 
they did not pay for us to go and interview. Okay, so we had to pay our own way. Did you pay for your flight to yes, go to Orlando? Of course. Oh my God. I I was not driving two hours away. I'm not a, a drive away like you are. She's like a two three hour drive away. Two I'm hours not, away. Yes. I'm a yeah. I'm a couple of days away <laughs> if I was to drive, but I have to fly. So I did pay um, for a flight and I paid for my hotel for two days because I had to be there the day before, the day of the interview and the day after. It's actually one, two, yeah, two nights and three days. Wow. So it was very expensive for me oh, to go. Wow. And I think I documented a little bit the interview process. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, it cost me an arm and a leg to go. Uh, because it was a last minute thing when they told me, well, oh, you're I ready stayed at the hotel as well because uh, I knew, I mean, uh, they told us to be there at seven o'clock, but uh, I, you know, you have to be there much earlier. I was there at four in the morning. No. I was the 15th at four in the morning. It was no, dark. I was, I was there at six o'clock. I was there at okay. six o'clock. Yeah. No. I was one hour before and there was already people there of mm -hmm. course but uh, you know uh, yeah. I wanted to stay there for the night so I stayed there for the night so it was uh, you know mm -hmm. in the same hotel you yeah know, that hotel was too expensive I couldn't afford it at the time I still can't afford it but back then I wasn't working but um, but yeah so you guys anticipate um, some airline let's say you do get an interview now like I said you guys were very lucky you're doing zooms um, some airlines right now are interviewing you in person I want to see you because uh, they want to measure you there's some things that they want to do some of them will pay for your I think Southwest are really good about flying their own flight attendants um, but I know that our airline and Frontier oh Frontier flew me Frontier flew yeah. me for the face-to-face -face. they did they paid for everything they paid for my hotel no they didn't pay for my hotel because my there was a good Samaritan a lady that I had met who had enough points and she and I know she's watching me she was awesome she paid for my hotel oh, yeah, yeah? she did she did uh, but I think Frontier did fly me, I remember, because they were like, oh, we're booking you on the next flight. Mm -hmm. So Frontier did fly me, um, and I got my CJO with them. I was so excited. That was worth it. Um, but other airlines do not fly you guys. So just be sure that you ask, because if you think that, oh, yay, I'm going for my interview, and they don't pay for your ticket, usually last-minute tickets are very expensive, although now there's so many specials because they want everybody to get back with the airlines and they're trying to catch up with you know the money that they've lost throughout covid they are reducing their price left and right so you can get flights at 15 to 25 dollars it's insane right now this is the time to fly you guys get back into flying and help the uh, airline industry for sure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video we covered about seven maybe more here and there yeah. we wanted to make sure that you guys kind of get an overview of how to prepare what's expected step by step uh, how to look um, how to feel and how to say things and basically we try to cover as much as we could uh, from our experience but I hope this was informative I am so happy that you were my partner in crime today <laughs> she is leaving today so I'm pretty sad but while she was here we had fun kind of brainstorming yes to help you guys succeed and follow your dreams so I hope you guys enjoyed it do you have any last words to tell our viewers well good luck and be prepared be very very prepared if you want this job and if it is a passion of yours we wish you all the luck we love you very Absolutely. much Mwah! see you later alligators i'll leave marielle's information at the bottom like i did for part one and two of our previous video on why somebody quit um so if you get a chance watch part one and then watch part two and if you've enjoyed these videos let us know and we'll make some more when we get together again hopefully soon Yes, next month. So you me, better, I'm yay, gonna be she's here. She's coming back. Yes. You know, my house is always open to her. She <laughs> knows my house is completely open to her. So we love you guys. Well, good luck in your um, in your future career, and we cannot wait to fly with you up there. See you later. Bye. It are unconfrontational. <laughs> You're one of those people that just don't like confrontation. Canadian and Italian. <laughs> Figure that. We you know? stop. <laughs> well, we're totally cutting that for the bloopers at the end. <laughs> okay, so you're probably someone that does not like confrontation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I apply for Republic Airlines. I've been accepted. I went to training, and the fourth days of training, I quit. Oh. Okay. Because my ass, my my ex. I heard my ass. My, what was an ass? <laughs> You are preparing for an interview. All right, so you've prepared. Oh, no. You've prepared. <laughs> Today I'm like, okay. my brain. We are